when I think about what I do and where it sits in the grand pantheon of, of uh, licensee land and all the rest of it, I think there's four things whenever I talk to people about, you know, advice business models right now, you need to get right. Four parties, if you like, four people that are involved in, in your success. The first part of this is, you know, the compliance aspect. For most of you, this is going to be your licensee. For some of you, it will be consultants who may help you with your you know, licensing requirements. The goal that here is to keep, you know, keep the nose clean uh, and to try and stay as close to commercial and compliant as you possibly can. The second key element uh, and the one that you know, I've, I've been very interested in, obviously, is your business model. If you don't get your business model right, it doesn't matter how much your intention is or, or how do you work. It's just going to be a hard, hard um, avenue. Traditionally, that was done by uh, licensees, but essentially, for me, this is coaching. This is about making sure you know, com commercial, profitable, efficient. The third party in the success of advice practices moving forward is technology. For most of us, that is financial planning software. For some of us, it'll be CRMs and all those add-ons. But ultimately, this is about automation, efficiency, consistency. And the final party at play here that's really important is resourcing. Now, this can take many forms, outsourcing or hiring. Good people, good work and support. Now for me, it's always been my ambition that in some way we could bring these together. But because of the way that the, the, the industry has sort of moved, that part has kind of been cleaved off. Uh, licensees used to get heavily involved in business coaching and, and practice development, you know, but they just don't do it anymore. And they don't do it because they just can't make it work. Moving forward as more businesses become self-licensed, maybe individually licensed, we're going to start to see that come more in here. But for me, I've always been really interested in this combination. What if we could combine these three? We could have a really clearly defined business model and it's a, get, align it with technology. What I found, and you might have your views on this, is that there's a lot of technology that's put forward to us. Here's what AdvisorLogic can do. Here's what um, uh, Midwinter can do. Here's what Xplan can do. Uh, but very infrequently does it turn around and go, here's how to structure your new client engagement process for optimal efficiency. Here's how to structure your reviews. I don't know whether it's because they, they, they want to stay away from it or they want to try and service everybody. But I, I really believe that if we can get a software provider who comes forward and says, you can use our software in various different ways, but this we found is the best way to use it and just really own that space. That to me is, is where we get these two working together. I've done a lot of work here in this space. So I've, I've sort of worked with many of you to onboard VAs and to get you know, systems and process up and running. But uh, the challenge has always been, you know, good resourcing companies or good outsourcing companies, they seem to, they seem to sort of shine up to the top and then uh, often they hit problems and they, and they, and they go back down again. And uh, I think it's just to do with the fact that any outsourcing company or any resourcing company that, that, that tends to achieve a level of success suddenly hits this issue of being constrained by either being able to retain, train, or uh, find great people. Where I'm looking to go over the next month or next year, or maybe even two years, is kind of look at ways we can integrate these. I'm going to have a really good crack to see whether I can get advice technology to implement every single strategy on the program uh, that we've spoken about in a way that reduces, you know, things down from, you know, five hours to one hour, five hours. What we're working on is this piece as well. Training up highly experienced, qualified online business managers, training them in what we do, and being able to bring them in to work with businesses over a project period for three months to set up your systems, your processes, or your communications, or your shared inbox, or your CRM, and then train your team to take over those roles. And I'm really, uh, really, really keen on that. If we can get these two pieces right, we get that piece right. So I wanted to share a little bit about where we're going and what I think the future has. Uh, it's been a really tough 12 months. It's been a tough five years, to be honest. I think ever since the Future Financial Advice came in, it's just been this rolling mess of uh, legislation. But I think for the first time, we're at a point where we're starting to come through it. I think another key to this is realizing that uh, some of the way that, 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 that advice can change and is get more efficient is going gonna, is gonna to see changes to the way that we engage clients. I think many of you are already ahead of this, but now I think is the time for technology to jump in and start to enable some of that. And I'm keen to sort of step into this space for me. It's all about being able to bring together as much as possible without trying to be evolve into someone who builds technology because I'm not a coder.
and I'd, I'd, I'd rather leave it to people like advice technology. But the next piece for me is kind of moving these three, to get three things together. I would love, uh, if it's next year, that would be awesome to be able to present to you a, a, a coaching program where your business model can be enabled by technology if you want it. And on top of that, uh, it can be uh, enabled by being able to, to have resources on the program who can come in and project manage for a period of two or three months in your business, uh, setting up the systems and processes and getting staff on board with how things need to happen. Because if we get these three things right, that's where uh, I think the, the ROI just gets absolutely. I would love your feedback on this. If you have some thoughts, if this sounds good to you, if it's something you'd like to be kept in form of, the opportunity out there is huge. And uh, I'm very grateful to be able to sort of do this with many of you. I'll see you soon.